how does injecting here help pump up this? Are you tired of trends? You know, I'm, I, I really actually don't like saying trends in aesthetic. Hi, Dr. Anjana Pania here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about um, if you inject a certain area, will it affect an area remote to it or far away? And the answer is yes, quite possibly. So recently in the practice we've had, like we've been inundated with, um, you know, inquiries and treatment requests for something called a nephrotiti lift and like a, a toxin jowl a reduction. And we've been doing it for years. I mean, maybe 12 years plus. So I was wondering, what is the sudden um, resurgence in interest like wh where is this coming from and the answer is well TikTok the answer, <laughs> that's where it's coming from and it's because of the study that was re released I think it's 2023 uh, the main author was uh, Marcello Germani if I'm if I'm correct and then um, of course, there's uh, Professor Cotofana in the mix and uh, people know he does a lot of papers. And I recently went to Lisbon to also speak at a congress they call 5CC. Prof Cotofana was there and he was discussing this, this, this treatment where if you inject the jowls, um, I, you know, and if you inject the neck area, the so-called nephrotiti um, area, you get an improvement in the volume of the mid face as well as the under eye area. And and um, we're going to put some inserts in the video so you can actually see um, the difference. There is a subtle difference, nothing like a facelift or blepharoplasty or maybe fillers, but there is uh, definitely uh, a volume shown. So it was a study for 70 patients and what this is, is uh, treating this area here. So there's this muscle called platysma that in, like, you know, it sort of, it attaches to the skin and inserts into your pecs but it also inserts into your like neck and and jowls it's an accessory muscle something like an appendix would be but because it's there the body uses it and uh, when you do a lot of like chest exercises you, you can pull down this area and as we age the the depressors the muscular depressors of the face and neck do you have a like a stronger uh, pull down and the theory is relaxing these depressors especially along this area here um, your DAO and even your neck you know then the it's called neuromodulator biomechanics then what happens the elevators of the face especially something called zygomaticus major takes over and like reposition soft tissue so you get like mid face like you know the cheek volumization and improvement uh, because there's improved support of the under eye hollows and it's it's really amazing uh, I mean obviously patient selection is really important if you've got really lax skin um, and then it's not going to work if you don't have much muscular pull down in your jowl area then yes it might not be as um, effective but you know it does give I can't you know like a very subtle you know almost photoshop finish I can't I can't explain it but it is it is really nice for uh, patients that are suitable so what is happening is along here there's like three to five injection points and there was a previous author that did it Hernandez but it was a less you know less units so they do 20 units uh, aside so we do between 12 and 20 depending it's obviously patient dependent but now that's a higher a higher dose where they found those changes and it's just into the the skin the intradermal area and when you pull down I'm, I'm a bit like self-conscious but I'm gonna do this it's like this, something like this like mm. so if you do that in the mirror you push your lower jaw forward and then all of this kind of you see the muscular pulling down that's where it's injected but into the skin so they said they did have some adverse events in the study I think it was, it was maybe technique but you know in any sort of these using drugs it can be an adverse event so one of them was a uh, patient said their smile was a bit um, skew asymmetrical and that could be because there's a muscle called rhizorus that's right here so if one of the injectors may have injected uh, superiorly but higher than they should have it diffused into that muscle uh, it's chewing they had problems chewing because it's a long year if they injected a bit deep they could get the masseter um, and that the food getting stuck in the vestibule in the 
on the inside of the mouth that could be buccinated there i mean i don't know that's like stabbing into a very deep space so i'm not sure that was a freak uh, occurrence but all these adverse events were resolved within 30 days um so there, there is that so it is it is becoming you know i know most people um think of toxin in the upper face but it is increasingly being used in the the lower face so it's, it's really really interesting if you'd like to know more uh, about this treatment or any other treatment uh, please give our practice a call like share and subscribe and give us a couple of comments bye